Hey everybody, Cyberknife here again. Got an interesting game that happened just the other night. I believe it was last night. This game just utterly pissed me off. Well, I won't say the game pissed me off. This one particular player said something in chat to me that just really got under my skin for some reason. Just rubbed me the wrong way. And I went on to just have one of those good games out of spite. You know what I'm talking about? Where you, somebody says something about you or your skills or something, and you're just like, I'll show you skills. And you go on to have a great game. Well, anyway, as you can see, I'm in a 59% win chance game. Not so bad. Take up an early position out here on the river, and I want to catch some early lights. Here I am deciding kind of to angle up so I can get the hell out of there. I know I'm going to get lit and have to roll. So I, I usually uh, like to do this. I take a few pot shots until somebody looks like they're going to return fire. So I figure I'm a blit. I didn't actually get lit though. Decide to reposition anyway and take a couple more shots. And then I'm going to go light something else obviously because I'm a scout. You know. A couple of decent shots here. I uh, bounced there. I actually pen the KV. Bounce the KV. Hit the uh, M8A1 that was tracked. Hit him again, moving. Not bad gunnery, really, if I do say so. But now they're starting to press. I've kind of done what I can. If you actually look right there, this T-34 is already uh, going for the VK and coming at the Jackson. Look at that. He actually, I believe he did take a shot at me there. So anyway, I bug out. Not a whole lot that I can do here, really. You know, I'm 30 armor. So I, as you can see in chat, I'm... A, pointing to the rest of the team hey river hellcat su you know let's let's reposition here and let's get ready to defend right here at k8 because we're about to be overrun it's coming there i've done what i can now look in chat and i'm i'm spamming the shit out of it trying to get these guys help there's nothing i can do for that jackson he's he's dead and gone man but uh i'm doing what i can you know so i'm saying hey su and look at this this jackson call, says coward calls me a coward and I just was like, are you, are you, are you freaking kidding me? I, and I go, I'm a scout, bro. 30 armor, you know, welcome to World of Tanks. So anyway, I'm pretty pissed off. I'm typing and, you know, riding in circles, just, you know, whatever, man. So I'm, I'm pretty, I was pretty upset. That's just ignorant. So anyway, I go back because I want to, pro I decide I'm going to try to sh take a shot at anything that pops out, you know, play a little pop a shot here. I, I can p uh, pen up to 130 here. Well, now they're not being lit, so I decide to run a proxy light. I almost take a shot here from the SU. He gets tracked. I take him out. And at this point, I just want to kind of proxy light the KV and harass him. Hopefully, I'm hoping that SU will be able to back me up. I, but, oh, look at this. That surprised me. I just bounced one from a Panzer VH. Now, he's stock. Showing stock, he's got that little asterisk there. And I can see that he doesn't have a very good shot. So, I was kind of backing out of there. So, I'm looking at really quite a weird situation here. i got to watch the KV here. Got to keep an eye on this guy. I'm still proxy lighting the KV-1 now. I want, you know, he was already lit for some reason. I don't know if the Crusader or what, but... So anyway, I'm out of here. I've done what I can there. I figure I've, you know, whatever I can do, I've done. So there, I leave them to their fate. Now I bounce at, or actually uh, dodge a nice shot there. I'm I, glad that he was, had that stock gun. That's why he bounced me earlier. Otherwise, he could have one-shotted me, actually. But uh, poor gunnery, probably a poor crew. He missed it. So now I've got artillery on me. I'm just trying to keep this guy lit. I'm not particularly sure why. I think the FV is right now in a duel for his life. I just noticed, hey, there's an M8A1. So now, I'm, look at the situation. And I'm, I've got an M8A1 going on over here. I got this guy behind me. I got artillery coming down on me. And I've got a KV-1 there. Look at I'm being shot at from this direction and this direction. So I go for the M8A1. Okay? I did make a mistake here. I felt taking and stopping. I thought the rock would offer me some cover. That was a tactical error, but it really didn't end up hurting me. Luckily, track shot. I get one into him. He's a one shot for me now. Boom. Took him out. I didn't know it till later, but I had ammo racked him, which did help me a lot because that cut his DP, uh, you know, his uh, rate of fire in half. So anyway, 
I'm going after this, uh, I'm going after the H now, and, uh, I, I, well, actually, I stop in route, and I, well, look at this, I know I can pen the side of a KV-1, I have 130, he's a 75 armor on the side, unfortunately, I'm not aware of the terrain too much in there, and he got behind a little bit of a hill, this thing is like .40 accuracy, so it's not, not that accurate, well, anyway, I, I'm not really sure that I'm going to have any kind of shot, and any second, I'm waiting for uh, this Panzer 4H to come over here and just annihilate me, but I'm able to actually secure the kill there, so we that's great. So now I got to go after this H who's around the corner. I'm expecting to run into him right now, and I'm just going to figure I'm going to blow right by him and try to get behind him if, if this happens. Look at this guy. He's facing away from me. I got engine shots. Hitting him over and over, punishing him. He's one shot for me now. A lot of obstacles in the way. Ooh, low roll. Got him. All right. So that's that. So basically now we've won it. There's just one FV-304 in the way. And this is where I do kind of stupid thing. But I'm, I swear to God, nine times out of ten this works for me, man. Now I know this is going to look stupid. I got a little too aggressive, and this is my play style. This is why I do not stop. I should have just stopped and lived. But I decide, no, I'm going after the artillery. This is, a, this is a dangerous artillery. He's quick, and I get him, and I think he's going to miss, and he, he doesn't miss. I set him on fire, though, take him down to 62, and, and I essentially, you know, for all intents and purposes, he's dead. But that, that doesn't excuse that I did not finish the game alive. Great game as it was. I should have just hung back. I, there's a million ways I could have went after that guy. And, and taken him out and been alive and that's why I have like I mean that's that's why I am what I am you know I play the way I play that's why I have a WNA to 49 and an efficiency of 57 and a win rate of 52 it's because I'm an aggressive player I like to have fun and it would not have been as fun for me to go all the way around the Churchill and whatever I'm more of a you know straight at them and you know what I say good on them you know the I gave that FV a fair chance to go out shooting he had an excellent game look at this guy excellent game he t I was his fifth kill okay so you know instead of you know he doesn't go and jump off a cliff or drowned in the water he very well could have that's a fast little ass tank you know he goes there he wants to fight it out head to head it's a game kids you know what I'm saying let's go at it let's do this nobody's really gonna die why you know that's the way I play that's the way I have fun and I'm telling you what nine times out of ten I go by I shoot him once he catches on fire he f shoots at me shoots wild and misses and then I pull right up alongside him and kill him but in, in this chant you know didn't work out for me and that's the what's exciting about this game you never know what you're gonna get but I'm never gonna learn I'm telling you I'm, I'm never gonna be the guy that quits doing that so anyway enjoyed it I hope you did you know Semper Fi catch you on the next one